Hi friends, today we'll be creating the stats for our little friend zombie. This will be quite quick because we already have a character stat script that we can use. This is kind of the parent script for all of our characters including our, uh, including our player. So let's just open it. We can see in here we have health, max health and is dead and quite a few uh, useful functions for checking health, setting health, taking damage, healing and initializing variables. So we'll go ahead and create a new script called either zombie stats or enemy stats, something like that. Mine will be zombie stats. Open it up. And first of course we have to tell it from which class to derive. And it's not going to be mono behavior, it's going to be character stats. Okay. And now we have all those features of character stats script inside of our zombie stats. Now what our zombie should have is also some kind of a attacking function. So for example, we'll probably need some kind of a damage number. So I'm going to go ahead and say serialize field private float damage. And we also probably want some kind of a attack speed. So I have a float for attack speed and probably a boolean serialized field private bool for can attack. So we'll just set this up for next time when we'll be creating the attack animations and the system. And then I'll probably want a public function, public void for deal damage. And in order to deal damage, we're probably going to uh, have to change this a bit, but uh, damaging functionality, I think that's how you write it. And Another cool thing we can do is override our die method. So you can see in character stats we have a public virtual or public void die. And right now it just sets is dead to true. But for a zombie we probably want him to destroy himself. So we'll go ahead and we have to make this virtual so we can override it. So in character stats I change the public void die to public virtual void die. And then in zombie stats we can say public override void die and in here uh, we can call the base die function which just means it's going to call this and then we can create something else which in this case is just destroy game object and that's pretty much it we can see now if we go to our zombie and give him the zombie stat script you can see he has some health max health and stuff like that but currently if you play the game it's nothing's going to get initialized so we can go to our um, character stats and you can see we have a init variable or init variables uh, thingy so i'm actually going to make the same thing so this is going to be a public virtual void and by default uh, it sets max health to 100 uh, and just is that to false so what we can do here is just say public override void init variables and I'm not gonna call the base init variables because I don't want to set his health to 100 I'm gonna set the max health to something like 25 for now and then I'm gonna set health to and you can see we can't access that function because in character stats we have to make it public so currently it's private so I'll just make it public and then in zombie stats we can say set health to max health and of course we want to set is dead is equal to false because he's not dead yet and now of course I'll just call this so private void start I'm gonna say init variables and now if we play his uh, health should be initialized let me just make it so we can kind of see that click play and you can see his health and max health are 25 I can't damage him yet but let's do the same thing for the damage and attack speed so maybe I want the zombie to deal maybe like 10 damage the uh, damage is going to be 10 and then attack speed I'm gonna set to something like 1.5 and I also want to set can attack to false by default or sorry I want to set it to true my bad and now those are going to get initialized as well and you can see everything is initialized and set up for us to use later on later on we'll improve this system so maybe we can have some uh, stronger zombies so we can spawn some you know 
uh, easier ones and stronger ones maybe we change their color or something we'll see but for now this is very simple and easy to do and it's just a quick episode we had to get done before we start the attacking system hopefully you learned something new and that's it for today okay now bye bye